Vision of the Beast's Beast System. This is a second vision that I received. Um, it was about probably a year and a half or so after the very first one. Um, that sounds about right, maybe two and a half years. Um, it was about seven years ago. It was in the winter time, and I was standing outside, and I was looking up. Um, I was looking up at the stars, as I sometimes like to do. I live out in the county. Uh, it was a very clear night, and I saw those really wispy clouds. You know, they're really wispy thin. I think they're called cirrus or whatever. Come, come creeping along, and I could see stars behind them, and the cloud took on the form with its wisps of, of like a like a big long beast, like a long thing coming across, and it had its teeth and its maw kind of open like this with the with the wisps of the clouds coming down, but it was very clear. I mean it looked very much and it was moving across slowly in uh, what's that perfect word? It's not imperceptibly, but it, it means like without being able to be stopped as a slow amount, like a glacier, you know, moving across. And there were bright stars in the sky, real stars, this was all there, um, and dimmer stars and medium brightness stars and very, very dim stars. And if you look out, if you're ever out, out of a city and you look up, you can see this. And uh, I was looking up and I was like, huh, that really looks like a beast. And it really looks like that beast is eating those stars. It's really weird. You know, sometimes clouds look like something uh, and sometimes they don't, you know, sometimes they're just big puff. This one really looked like what it looked like. And uh, <clears throat> and while I was standing there, something reached through the veil and it touched me. It touched my, I was holding something in my hand and it, and it was like, uh, it was like this. It was like, uh, boop, 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 like that. Boop, 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 boop. And it really freaked me out because I knew in front of me was nothing that could have moved in that, in that gesture. I was basically clear in front of me. I was looking up and, uh, and I was thinking, huh, I wonder that looks like the beast. And this one, it didn't take a couple days for the Lord to give me the understanding of it. I knew it immediately what this thing meant. And what it represented was the beast's system, the bad guy, you know, the, the beast of revelation or ever the one that tries to set this whole system up, this global thing that lures you in that looks so good, but it, it's actually bad. That was what was represented by this. And, and then the stars were cities. And all of the brightest stars were already either consumed, like were in the beast, were swallowed by it, or were in its teeth, were already taken, the biggest ones, the brightest, biggest cities, New York, Tokyo, uh, whatever the giant ones are over in London, probably Berlin or something, you know, these really, really big mega cities were already, they're toast, beasts already got them. And the larger cities are, are, are getting eaten, and the vision was clear, all of them are going to get eaten. All of them are going to fall into this system where the rules and the person in charge is going to be this beast, except few cities that were all the smallest stars, like the very dimmest ones and the one above that. So in my mind, I'm thinking like villages, towns of 500 and 1,000, you know, would be the dimmest little stars, and then maybe towns of up to like 3,000, 4,000, you know, and in the, and in the, in the terms of the nation, you know, I was, I heard on the radio once when I was living in the High Plains, they talked about Garden City, and they said, and, and the NPR referred to it as, a small town in western Kansas, Garden City. And I said, whoa, that's the biggest thing around for like three mile, ra three hour radius. Like there's, if you want to rent a car, if you want to, you know, get to a, a national chain, you know, you got to go there. You got to go there. But that's, and it's got 40,000 people. So in the eyes of the, of the main city, you know, a, a town of 500 or 1,000 and a city of 3,000 or 5,000, small, small, small. And they were, there were not many of them. Okay, that's, that's vision number two. The beast has taken over. And it freaked me out so bad when the thing, when it touched me, that uh, I ran inside. Because I didn't know if this was a vision for immediately right then. Like, did I need to go get in my van and leave to be that first fox that night? Obviously, I didn't. Um, but that time, from the time I saw that, has advanced till now. And so I would assert that basically all of those cities have already been eaten. They're already part of the beast system. And you will be able to know this. Look around yourself. What are the uh, ideas that are being pushed in your town and city? What are the types of issues? What are things that are being represented? Um, how are situations being responded to? Um, and you'll know. You know, is this a system that's helping folk out, or is this a system that's stoking fear and division? Um, 
basically there are no good cities and you need to you need to go see my vi video about the first fo vision um, the two foxes you want to be the first fox you need to leave while everything still looks normal